Now on BBC Radio 4, award-winning documentarian Sir Michael Scarborough Price presents Wisdom of the Aged. The Care Quality Commission last April installed recording devices in selected residential care homes. And whilst initially unaware they were being recorded, two very unique residents have subsequently agreed to the release of their candid, poignant and often spirited conversations. Take me down to the paradox city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you take me home? Two, three, four, take me down to the paradox city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Hello? Elspeth, it's Dot. Oh, lovely. Hello, Dot. Come on in, love. Door's a bit jammed at the moment. I have to have Mr. Maintenance come and look after it. What's his name, George? Yeah, George, that's right. Yes, he's, he plays the guitar. Does he? Yes. How do you know that? I've seen him. He performs in little clubs and things like that on his day off. Oh, George the night manager, yeah. Yes, do you do, do you do maintenance as well? Well, he's shaved off a couple of things for me over the years that oh. I've been here, you know, little bits at the bottom, you know, how wood expands when it's cold and, you know, it gets a bit waterlogged and then he shaves the bottom off and... You know. Well, that's good of him, isn't it? Because they usually have to you fill in a form, don't you? And it no, doesn't get well, done look, for love, weeks. When you've got good relationships with people, uh, you can just ask them. I don't know. You know, you probably wouldn't understand because you don't. You know, you're not that friendly with people. But I, I tend well, to. No, I am. I've got my friends here. Do you? Yeah. Who are they? Well, I don't ask you to do things for me because you, you know, you're doing your own thing and. Well, you couldn't sort out my bathroom door, could you? No, but I could. Uh, I I would simply ask George, but he probably wouldn't have the time for, or give you the time of day because he doesn't. Well, no, because he's the night manager and I'm asleep. But you're a little night owl, aren't you? You sort of wa wait up, watching you know the world go by and watching your programs and your model cycles or whatever they're called. Uh, America's Next Top Model. That's right. Yes, I love that show. It's fantastic. All oh, those quick cuts and beautiful people. Maybe I'll come and watch it with you one time. Yes, we're up to cycle 22 now, yeah. and it's very interesting because they've allowed for the first time ever, they've taken away the height restriction oh. because Tyra was saying that she, when she walks the streets of the US... What's wrong? What's the stupid bloody look on your face while I'm talking to you? I just wondered what the thumping was. Did you not hear it? No. Oh, yes, I can hear a little thumping. Oh, there you go. Maybe it's your heart. Anyway. I don't think so. It's probably uh, Cordelia in five. She, She's had a hard time lately, and I walked past the other day. I looked inside, and she was banging her head against the wall. Oh, dear. Yes. She used to be a model, didn't she? It obviously didn't look after her mental health, did it? Well, they? psychologically, I think it's very difficult to go from being very, uh, you know, beautiful and, uh, and, and attractive to the world to then descending into a pit of despair because nobody's valuing that anymore, you know what I mean? I was, I was quite beautiful as well, and I had to come to terms with the fact that when I walked in a room, nobody... Nobody batted an eyelid, you know, whereas people used to go, oh, look at her, look at her, oh. Well, I was going to say, you know, because you'd mentioned before that you used to be a model and... Uh, yes, not it's, professionally, it's, but I used to do it. No? No. Right. I was asked to do it in the course of my work um, and, and on an amateur basis, and I had a very close friend for a while who was a fashion designer. So she was based in Denver in Colorado, and... She used to send things out to her salons over here and, and I used to do some modelling for them just at local shopping centres and things like that and lodge parties. And, but I was never, you know, I was never one of the top girls. Well, I, re I used to work for a newspaper um, just on reception and that and there was this one day when they needed someone to model something and they asked me and I were in paper the next day. It was quite a coup. You but were in the paper. That's right, yeah. Right. They were doing something on healthy eating and they had me holding a, a, a wrap 
like a tortilla wrap and I was there and like holding the wrap like that and sort of you know like it's amazing what you have to do because you're not just sitting there you know you've got to get the angle of your face right and you've got yes. to get your oh, smile yes. right a lot to it. but you've got to look like you're just about to take a bite and it's really appetizing yes. and you know don't hunch your shoulders and all that sort of it's quite hard elongate your neck that's right do the giraffe the giraffe do the owl Ooh, right. Yes, yes, there's lots What's to learn. What's the owl then? Is that sort of wide eyed? I'll show you. Watch this. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready for this? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, a lot of tension in your neck there, though. Yes, or is that just your turkey waddle thing? I beg your pardon? Your neck. What about my neck? Well, you got, you know, you got your skin around your neck and. Yes, a lot of people have got skin around their neck, love. No, it's just that you, you know, you tensed your neck there. Yes. Anyway, well, so yes. we were talking about the modelling and that, and <coughs> uh, what, what age were you when you sort of thought no one's looking at me anymore? Because it, in a way, you know, looking like me, you don't have that worry. You don't well, have. You don't so go all, from no. the heady heights of oh, everyone's looking at me to oh, no one's looking at me anymore. You just got no one looking at you all your life and that's just a lot easier to deal with I think I mean it's not not as nice but it's easier I suppose well that's not true I've been out uh, you know down the town with you or walking along the street and I see lots of heads turn and whispers about you and the way you look well yeah I think that's because I wear quite bright dresses and they probably think oh look at that you know, she's, you know, probably look, probably looking at my size, you know, I take up quite a lot of space, I'm aware of that. Yes. But, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk around not wearing what I want to wear, I like my bright colours. Yes, and, and my hats. It's fine, you've got every right to do that, love, but I'm just saying that people do look at you and do notice you. Yeah, uh, but, you know, there's noticing and then there's sort of yes. finding attractive, isn't right, there? And that's yes, what we're talking yes. about, you know. I might get noticed, but you, you know, you had your day, didn't you? Yes, I did. I was probably about 45 to 50 when I, I started to think, oh, people are, you know, people start calling you ma'am and things like that. And, and I think they stop seeing you as, as a sexual being. It's interesting, though, because you still see, like, what I think will be quite good, and they must need them, is, you know, model model agencies for old people. Like, you oh, know, they've got them, love. You know, the catalogues that yes. we, we buy our things from, you've got older people there, and they Absolutely. look nice, and they've yes. made them, you know, they've, 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 you know, dusted them off and made them look good for the day. Yes. You know, you could do that. I've you, done you, it. Well, yeah, you've got a, you know, you've got the face for it. What? you got the face for it. Oh, I've got the body for it too. What's wrong with my body? Why have I got no, the nothing. face for it? No, I wasn't saying you didn't have the body for it. I'm just saying, you know, people focus on the face, don't they? And you well, I've done... I've done paying I've, you a compliment, Brian. I've done slippers and I've done uh, a water heater. I've done a macerating toilet head. I've done a... Um, uh, what do they call it, a Stenner stair lift oh, yeah. one? Yes, just over the past 10 years. You know, I get a call occasionally from someone who says, oh, we need this, because I, I can slip right into it, you know, I know exactly what now I'm doing. Now do they know you? How oh, I've got, my, my, I've got a friend who's who's quite a bit younger than me, and she works in London, so she's got uh, contacts in an agency. And sometimes well, the good, elderly... you know, it's good that they... They use them and they don't get younger people. Uh, one thing I do find is in catalogues for, um, you know, more mature people, for the fashions for the more mature, they'll yes. use models that are younger and they wouldn't yes, wear the things. Know, and the, that bothers me because you 60s, think... Yes. Well, no, not even that, but like, you know, women in their early 50s. Right. And you think, no, this is clearly an old lady's little nighty yes, or whatever yes. with the long sleeves. And yes you know, buttoned up and all that, and they've got a 51-year-old in it, and you think, no, there's no fool in me. You know, no. we all know the game here. We all know who's buying the... And it ain't, you know, not the 51-year-olds. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I really wish you wouldn't do that. It's really quite disgusting. Well, I'd, look, 
do I have a choice? I mean, my own bloody room here. Well, you've got, got a gas. choice, you know. When you've got company, maybe just dial it down a bit. You'd like you me know, to swallow it again, would you? Well, I don't even want to know what you're swallowing, but, you know, you could make less of it. You do the the face, you know, you're doing a build-up to it. You look like you enjoy it, and I'm sitting here feeling like I want to be sick. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, there's a couple of things that you do occasionally that make me feel a little bilious as well. Like what? Well, it's sometimes you come in here with one of your house dresses on and I can tell it hasn't been washed for a couple of days. And well, that's not true. As, as you, well, in that case, you've got a real problem then. If I it's not the dress and it is you and you had a shower, you need to see a medical doctor, love. I don't have a shower, do I? You know that. What do you have, for God's sake? I've got me walk-in pod. How would I bloody know? Well, what, you've seen you don't have room. a shower. Yes, I've seen your room, but I don't bore a hole in the bloody wall with a little drill that I bought from down in the hardware store and no, I just spy on you. Just, what, no. Oh, I wonder what Dot does when she's cleansing herself. No, Let me get stupid. down on my hands and knees. I'll put my pads on my knees and I'll have a really good look at what Dot does in the bathroom. No, of course I don't do that. Anyway, sometimes... Maybe it's my cardigan. There's something going on, and there's a there's a smell. There's a there's a that go. You walk past it, I'm like, and I cover that up from you. Well, I think that's more to do with your you know reflux and that. You've been sitting here burping like a bloody toad, and it makes you go. Maybe you've got some sort of throat thing going on. No, it's not a throat thing. I'm talking about a nose thing, and I'm saying that when you walk past me to sit down there. And, and your body hits the the couch, I, I see things in the sunlight come up from, from yeah, your dress. Yeah, it's the dust from your bloody sofa. How dare you? No, it is not the dust from my sofa. I vacuum that sofa every day. Every there is day. nothing unclean in my apartment, thank you very much. All right, calm yourself. Well, nobody, nobody has the right to come into someone's house and say it's dirty. I'm very, very clean. I didn't say it were dirty. I said there might be a bit of dust. It's normal. When you look at someone, when you're talking to them, do you tend to look in their left eye or their right eye as you're listening or talking to them? Well, it's funny you ask that because you don't ever notice it, do you? And then the minute someone asks you, you think, oh, I don't know. Thrown it off maybe now. I'm talking to the bridge of their nose. No. I have a tendency to look in somebody's right eye but I'm left handed you see oh that's interesting now yes. that I'm looking at you I don't know I feel like I take in the face as a whole rather than concentrate on one eye but now that I'm talking to you I'm looking in your right eye most of the time and I'm right handed interesting yes I very rarely look in someone's left eye I'm just noticing as I'm talking to you now, I would far prefer to look in your right eye. But then again, that's because your right eye in particular is prettier than your left. Well, oh, thank you very much. Your left is kind of fused, closed towards the, the, the left-hand side of it, and it's a bit uncomfortable for me to look at. But your right eye is quite nice today. You've put a bit of effort in today, haven't you, love? Well, I've put a bit of the, uh, you know, the shimmery shimmer yes. on it. It's quite nice. Sometimes you wake up early and you just think, well, you know, I'll put a bit more powder on and, you know, I'll uh, pick out a new cardigan. Yes. I'm wearing, wearing one of my newer cardigans today, so hopefully I don't smell. No, look, don't take it to heart, love. I noticed a bit of a... No, no, a bit of an edge right. to the way you see that. No, no, we all have our things, don't we? Yes, we do. I was at the cinema yesterday and I was sitting next to a fellow... And and it was it was a wonderful film. It was Mission Impossible something protocol, and the guy next to me is sitting there with his his n hands on his knees and his nails, and he was doing this. Oh no! See, the I whole can't, way through, and you know it's an I action film, so that. you can't hear it for most of it because it's dink dink do do dink dink do do tick a do and all that stuff. But you know, in the quiet scenes where the, it's a bit romantic or a bit sexy. All I can hear is, and I tried. I tried to sit there and go, "What would the Dalai Lama do? What would Uncle Phil do? 
or Dr. Phil or whatever his name is, you know, he'd say, you can train a cat as far as you can walk it. That's what he'd say. And I thought, train a cat as far as you can walk it. Ignore it, ignore it. He's only a fellow human being. Uh, but I couldn't that's, do the end. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Because you, you, I, I do that. I mean, I don't click my fingers. I, you know, I get annoyed with small little things that people do, and oh, they yes. don't even know they're doing them. Really? And then you think, you know, you're sitting there, and you're just like, just ignore it, just ignore it. Yeah. But just by saying to yourself, just ignore it, you've missed the last five minutes at film. I know. And you think, well, oh, I didn't hear you clicking then, because I was just saying, oh, ignore it, but then I missed the film anyway. I know, it's, it's And that makes you even more annoyed. Yes. Would you like some tap water, love? Yeah. Yes, right, I'll just fix you some tap water. You look like you could do, you're looking a bit scaly, your skin today. One thing oh, I can't good. I can't deal with is when people have a little whistle in their nose. Oh, because tell you can't me about you it. can't just say to someone, "Do this," you know, sort yes. yourself out. Yes. But you hear it, oh, and I it's know. all you can hear. Then <laughs> it's just like being in a tunnel, isn't it? Strapped to the top. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all they need to do is just breathe properly. You know, do it properly. Right. Or, you know, stop moving your fingernails and clicking and yes. that. Or a leg jiggle. Ooh, oh, the jiggle. Annoying. Yes, my uh, my niece just sits there with her iPhone, with her Tinder, and she swipe left, swipe left, swipe left, What's swipe Tinder? left. Tinder? If there's someone near you that you'd like to have sexual relations with, you swipe them right. Oh, blimey. And if there's someone near you that you don't want to have sex with, you swipe them left. What if they want to have sex with you? Well, what happens is, uh, uh, allegedly, is that you bring it up and, and they see your photo and they, if, there's, if they get aroused by your photo, they swipe it right. And then if they swipe it right, you see them on your uh, BAP and, and then you go, oh, do I fancy them? And if you swipe it right as well, then you get to have sexual relations with them. But if one of you swipes left, and you don't fancy, if there's not a mutual thing going on, then that's it for you. There's no sex whatsoever. Oh, it all sounds a bit administrative. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I mean, when I was younger, we used to just kind of cross the floor. We'd cross the floor, you know. The boys would sit on one side of the hall, the dance hall, and the girls would sit on the other. And then you'd sit there and you'd wait, and the boys would come over and they'd say, May I have this dance? And I'd say... And then we would dance, and we would keep an appropriate distance apart. And then on the way home, you know, you'd, that's where you'd do your business. Yeah, we used to go to the dances, and then, you know, you'd, you'd, it, was, it was a similar thing, you know. You'd go there, and you were all in your group, and then the, the boys were there in their group, and it was all sort of like, all very, oh, well, looking over mm, here. I and fancy him. Oh, I'll, I'll oh. have one, of, you know, I'll yeah, have, have a, a bit, bit of that. that. I get stuck into that. Oh, I get involved with that. I'd tear that up. I'd have well, that for dinner. Not not in those words, but, no? you know, you, you, you'd have a look round and you think, oh, who do I fancy? And then you can tell from, from then, you know, because everyone's looking around and, you know, having a look. Yes. You can tell whether someone likes you or not. Oh, can you? I think so, because, you know, oh. they'd be giving you the glad eye. And uh, and then you'd, you know, start dancing. The, and the glad eye? Sorry, what? You know, I, you know, you can tell because they look at you and, you know, do a little wink or a smile. Or oh, I like, see. The glad yeah. eye, is that what you called it? Yeah. The other thing, the other thing they used to do, or, well, girls would do it as well, you know, they'd... You know, you send someone over, and they'd say, "Yes, here our um, our, our yes. Fred likes a or bit of you. Fred likes you know, do you want to go and you know, get with that? Do you want to dance with? Oh, it's weird because back in the day, that were normal that someone would say, "Oh, a friend likes you." Yes, but when you think about it now, you think, they "Why didn't you just come now. over and say, I like you?" Swipe right. Well, no, I don't think I'd like the sound of that, to be honest with you. 
Because it's uh, all based the, on looks. What's the age on Tinder anyway? What's the? Well, I uh, presume it's eighteen plus. Well, yeah, but how high does it go? What's the top I limit? Know, well, maybe we should download it, put it on the iPad. I keep forgetting you've got that iPad. Yes. What else do you use it for? iPad? Yeah. Well, I play Sudoku. There's this wonderful new game that I've got. It's called Kill Shot. And it's a first person shooter and I really like it. Oh, Every I day I get a new challenge and it says, kill three armed guards. And then with one finger, with one thumb, you look around and with the other thumb, you fire. And you can choose weapons. I've spent, oh, I think I've spent about 84 pounds now on, on upgrades. What, real money? Oh, yes. Because what happens is uh, you, you go along and you lose energy every, every mission and then you need more energy to continue the next mission. So it says, would you like to upgrade your energy? Or you can wait overnight and it kind of replenishes, right? But I can't ever wait. I, I want to kill and kill again. And you've spent 84 quid killing. Yes, about that. But also you can upgrade. And also, you know, sometimes it's very difficult. You need, like they keep making all the missions more difficult so you need better weapons you need better bullets you need silencers and have they got any hand grenades <coughs> what hand grenade no no it's not it's all it's all you've got assault rifles and you've got shotguns and you've got um uh, sniper rifles and uh, a few others I haven't really reached that stage yet. I read about a game that were banned, I think, a few years ago that was something like uh, Hitman. No, that's not banned, love. They've just brought out the movie. Well, no, I think it was banned like 10 years ago or something. No, it wasn't. And it was about, like, creeping up on someone yes. and using a plastic bag over their head or a oh. cheese wire or something. A cheese grater. No, a cheese wire. That's a slow way to kill someone, isn't it? A cheese grater. Oh. That would be nasty. That's horrible. Not very efficient, anyway. If you had to kill someone with a cheese grater, would you just start with their face? Well, let's have or a think would about you? that, love. Yeah. I think probably I'd... No, or I'd go for their wrist. neck. Their neck. Neck or wrist. But I'd, I'd, what I would do is I would probably... Um, probably light a fire in their home and and you know knock them out with the, the smoke and I'd put on breathing apparatus and I'd go in there with the cheese grater and while they were knocked out I'd have a good go at their wrists and their, and their neck you know that's what I'd do anyway.